Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a art journal page for Scrap FX Australia today and I am going to play with a heap of stencils and stamps. I've got that big pile there waiting just to be used and I'm going to incorporate that gorgeous butterfly transparency as well. Now to create my background, I decided to pull out of my stash my jelly plate. Now I profess I am absolutely no expert in using a jelly plate. I've really only used it a few times. So I am still very much a beginner, but I had so much fun playing with this when I was pulling this together. So what I have learned along the way, and I've often done this through watching other people on YouTube, and it's really about having less paint than more. And I'm really not that great at that just yet. Um, it was a little bit wet a few times and I did put a little bit too heavy handed when I put down some of that. But anyway, I, ke I kept pushing on. So to start with, I just added some dots of acrylic paint. And to put some dimension, I used the nine dots stamp and then also overlaid the Circles Galore stencil, which is was created by Claire Steed. And oh my goodness, it's such a wonderful stencil. I wanted to have some sort of gold tone over the page. Now this is where I did go a little bit wrong. I didn't allow that to sort of dry enough, I guess. And I wanted to have the white come as the background. And really it just became a relatively pastel-y type look, which wasn't quite what I was looking for, but never fail, just keep on going. That's what the wonderful thing is about using one of these gel plates, is if you don't like the layer that you've put there, you just add another layer. Um, so I popped the stencil back down and did a little bit more paint, etc., all over it. And just to bring out some more color on the page. Now I have used my a roller as well, which made it really easy just to take over the top. So this is where I started to see, okay, I can see where I sort of want to go with this. What am I going to do next? So I came in with the doily stamp, which covered up that whole jelly plate, which was just wonderful. And then I'm adding in just some extra color, um, some of that green there, and I come in with some more blue and just really start to create some layers along that jelly plate. And when you're ready and when you want to pop it down, you just pop your cardstock down or whatever you're using, leave your fingers and layer, um, sort of push, mush, you've, without trying to move the paper, which is a bit tricky. It's a little bit... Um, tricky at first and I did have a couple of goes at that um, and then I just kept going really I just added some more paint to the gel I took it off with just a baby wipe added some more I wanted to have some of this more circle look so I created um, with the gold paint that acrylic paint from my stash and just created and made a messy finger circles around the jelly plate um, added in some turquoise blue as well because I was really starting to think about what colors were in that butterfly transparency that um, it's called colored butterflies transparency and it is just pr probably one of my favorite releases over the last few months it's absolutely gorgeous there's all different size but colored butterflies this is the last that I have in my stash I have used this entire sheet up um, so I will absolutely need to put that on my list for to to get that one again so as you can see I've just continued just adding in some layers layers some green onto the page and I didn't really mind where it all went up this is all about um, how it is working with a jelly plate um, and really just having some fun. Um, so I, you know, like again, I did some finger painting. Then I used a little bit of that stamp there, which is called In and Out Circles. Um, so I really wanted to add some dimension onto the page. Now, as I started getting to the point where I was feeling I was getting those right colors as a really good base, 
it was a little bit squashed um, with the way I'd used my hands over the cardstock. So I thought I'll go in with another piece of cardstock and see whether I can get a cleaner movement across the page. And I'm really way happier with the second one that I did there. So I'm going to use that one on the top left for something else and I'll create an over the top of that at some point as well. So now I'm on to getting a little bit more detail around and what I want to do to create some more layers and texture on this page. So I've used the negative numbers stamps there. Now the inks I'm using as well today are Distress Oxide um, and the red one with the negative numbers is Distress Dried Barn Door, which is one of the recent um, recent ink pads that was released and oh my goodness it's such a beautiful color it's certainly becoming one of my favorite ones lately and I just placed that around the randomly around the page as well I used the doily stamp as well and used prize ribbon on that and I also used the ladders stamp which is a great cute little stamp that you can really add those beautiful layers and what I also then decided to do was give a little bit of a faint view across the page. It's a little bit hard to see in the recording, um, but I can really see it in person. I love the L um, by Claire um, stencil of that face. So I did a subtle thing around the on that left hand side of the page and used um, mustard seed in the distress oxides and mushed that around with a foam um, tool and I really love how it just gives a really soft subtle tone in there now what I did try to do was I thought maybe I should trace around and give it some more dimension um, with a black pen and I really didn't like how it was starting to look so I did stop doing that um, and gave and just smushed it away a little bit with a um, baby wipe I really didn't like it was going to become too predominant on I really wanted it to be um, a faded component of my background. So I went in there with the doily stamp using the colour of um, Mermaid Lagoon just to tie a little bit more back into the colours that are in that butterfly. And I realised that one of the colours that I hadn't in in um, incorporated was that purpley pinky colour. And I love these, um, this stamp that I'm using here. It is called Circle Marks. And oh my goodness, I, it is just gorgeous. It's been, I've used it the last few times um, in many of my projects. It gives a great, great um, depth and dimension to the page as well. And just to add a little bit of black to the page that ties back into the butterfly as well because it's got those beautiful black marks um, around the color. Um, I've gone in there with, what are those circle? I think it's, I didn't write that down. Oh my goodness. Um, it's one of the mark making um, type stamps. Um, and there's some circles and straight lines. So I just used some black archi archival ink for that one um, and just put them randomly around the page as well, just to add in that black to the page. Now to give it a bit more of a nature type feel, I wanted to grab some green in as well. So I've used the Rustic Wilderness and stressed it quite heavily around the edges of the, um, the page as well. Um, and I allowed it to sort of soak down into the page or in some of those sections as well. So I'm just adding on the butterfly and I love how this is just able to sit across that page so beautifully. And I had a couple of tags um, of sayings just from my stash. I have no idea where these came from. I think it might be a Heidi Swap thing. I'm not really sure. Just a couple of word phrases there just to add a little bit to the page. And I knew that I wanted to pop. I've got a um, an album that I've got that's sort of dedicated to sort of me, really. Um, and I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to frame this up. I knew it was going to go into this page. So I started thinking about whether I wanted to go straight onto the black um, and I do quite like that when I'm looking back at it, um, but I decided to give it a white border as well. 
Now, one thing I didn't do with this one was do um, splatters on this. I really felt it didn't need it. I really wanted those stamps and the texture of the dimensions of all the different layers to really stand out on this on, on my journal page today. So as always, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I've given you a little bit of inspiration. All the details of all the products that I've used will be on the blog, which is linked in the description box below. I've got a couple of um, close-ups for you. And I really appreciate you spending some time with me today. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.